What up? What up? What up? Welcome to the Sunday, the Sunday preparation day. The Sunday preparation day. I'm gonna just let TikTok cook up a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna get straight into it. I mean, we're gonna get straight into it. I mean, I never anticipate these lives to go to go that long. You know, aiming around 40 to 50 minutes. You always want to make sure you tune into the Sunday watch list builders by Wealth on Mars. Why? Because time after time and time and time again, we've proven ourselves. Like week after week, if you listen, if you tune in and you just listen, there's absolutely no way you're not making money. Like even the videos that I put out for you guys on the TikTok, there's no way. Like I'm giving out so much free games to where it's like, hey man, at this point, at this point, you just got to open your ears. Yeah, I don't know about that one, honey. <laughs> I don't know about that one, boss. Bro said he told his mom to be quiet on, on Mother's Day. Yeah, you're tripping, bro. I don't know if I would have did that one, man. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. It is not a good look. There is so many great stocks that you guys need to be that we're going to be looking over on this live stream. There's so much money to be made. I'm 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 fairly confident. I'm fairly fairly confident. Um, let's look at the fear and greed index. I'm gonna let the live stream cook up for a little bit longer. Let's let's run the likes up to at least one thousand, two thousand, and then we'll really we'll really get started, okay? And then we'll really get this thing started. Interesting interesting all right so if you guys tune into these live streams at all if you guys to like I, I haven't been going live monday monday through saturday why because i give you so much information on sunday that you need to pay attention to to where you're able to to come in the market and actually make money like even if you follow the twitter 464 dollars on our twitter swing that we have right here like <laughs> it's actually it's actually crazy like we got people 10 people Curious who took the Tesla calls? Like we come over here, go to Tesla calls, and this is what we had Tesla in when it went absolutely crazy. We told I told you to swing these. They went up over, they went from one hundred and ten dollars all the way up to three hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, pay attention to these live streams. Let's run the likes up, and I promise you're gonna be. We're gonna be looking at plays that'll make you money. Like I'm already seeing stuff that is like, bro. All right, so I'm telling you right now, if you want, if you want to make money. If you want to look, Tesla, $4,000, like PDD, we swung some PDD calls and you want to make sure you're paying attention to the stream because we're going to be talking about PDD. We're going to be talking about PDD. We're going to be talking about PDD, 511. What my boy, 20,000. 20,000 on some spy calls, profits locked in. Like I'm telling you, it's just, it's just here. It's just here. You're in the right place. You're in the right place. <clears throat> you're in the right place. Somebody said, the ratio is what matters. I'm glad you said that. This is what we did for last week. Okay, I'm just telling you guys, you need to be paying attention because what we go over on this live stream is basically the game plan for the entire week. That's why I stopped going live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I stopped going live. I just go live on Sunday because I give you the entire, the entirety of what you should be looking at. We literally went 10 for 11 this week. Okay, we missed on UAL and that's it. But UAL is, is in an amazing bounce area. But let's get straight into it. So... For the queues, like I said, I always I've been telling you guys this for quite some time now. The queues is just going to go up. Okay? You're only the only thing you have to make sure you're doing, and this isn't even like a new, this isn't even like a new thing that I'm giving you. I've always said since December, since November, the queues have bottomed out, the market has bottomed out. You want to be looking for calls. I came on the live stream, everybody was making fun of me, everybody was saying you're wrong, yada yada yada. I did not care. And where do you see us today? We're literally in in the midst of a very bullish market that in my in my opinion is going to continue okay just based on a few things that we're seeing so if you go to the weekly chart you guys know how i like to start out i start off on a monthly weekly daily uh four hour eight hour and then and then we start looking at some individual stocks okay that that's how these live streams work we go over the queues first and then we look at some individual stocks um so if you look at the queues right now the measure move nothing has changed the measure move is still to 350 it is very very bullish why is that the measure move because this bull flag break that you're seeing right here this bull flag break that you're seeing right here the measure move is to 350 so i anticipate us to get to 350 okay when 
I'd probably say sometime in, in August, okay? Sometime in August, maybe before, actually, okay? So that's the main thing I'm paying attention to on the weekly. We're obviously in a, in a huge cup and handle. Like, I'm not even going to delete anything, okay? I'm not even going to delete anything. This is just what we're in. We're in a huge cup and handle. We're breaking out of the cup and handle. Now, could we get a retest of 310 if we're lucky? If we're lucky. We're at 325 right now. All right, so that's the main thing I'm watching for the weekly time frame. And as for the daily, this is what you need to be watching right here. This is what you need to be watching. This is a rising wedge, okay? A rising wedge. And then the only time, the only time I would be short on this is right here. If we start trading below 320. Below 320, we'll retest that 310 area that we talked about. Um, and then, you know, maybe even 316, et cetera, okay? So these are the two the two main things that you need to be paying attention to to see what we do inside of this rising wedge. I don't see any bear divergence that is happening as we go up. It's just we're making higher highs and the RSI is aligning with it. So it's, it does, it's not showing any weakness, okay? Um, the only thing is we're at a bounce level right now. So, you know, we could bounce up and come back to the top at around 328, okay? That's what I'm paying attention to on the cues. And uh, obviously, below 320, it'd be a good short back down to 316, et cetera. But that's not the main thing I want to focus on. I really want to look at these individual stocks, okay? We already know. We know the Qs is going to go up. We know the Qs is going to continue to go up. Um, now we have to figure out what are good entries. What are some good entries as the Qs go up, okay? That's what I'm trying. That's what we need to figure out, okay? We know the queues is going up. We should, we know it. We know it. We've been saying this for quite some time. We knew Apple was going up. We knew Shopify was going up. I literally made a video about Shopify getting back to sixty dollars. It's at sixty dollars. This was way back over here, like back in March, and I told you to get the buy time on these buy some Julys, and you know the people that listen are obviously making a bunch of bread, but you know the people that don't, whatever. Okay, I'm just letting you guys know what we go over over here is very accurate. That's what I'm seeing for the queues. We know the queues is going to go up. Before we look at the individual stocks that you guys want to look at, before we look at the individual stocks you guys want to look at, uh, we're going to be looking at some of the stocks I want to look at first. Somebody said 110 call expiration 697 contracts. I have no idea what stock you're talking about. I see you guys putting stocks inside of the chat. Do not worry. Do not worry. We're going to be looking at all of them. But first, I want to look at some of the, I want to look at some of the stocks that I think are going to do great. Um, because usually like uh, this is just what i'm watching and if you guys say something that on here that i think is good too then yeah i'm watching that as well but the main stocks that i'm paying attention to is china i'm paying attention to china because i think china has bottomed out i think it's time for china to make a reversal if you look at pdd right now let me show you guys something very cool about pdd right now if you zoom out, you go to the weekly chart, you guys know I like to start at the weekly chart, you have this reversal candle on the weekly, okay? So that's one confluence that you have right here. You have this reversal candle, reversal doji on the weekly time frame, okay? So that's one confluence. The next confluence is if you take these Fibonacci's, you take it from the top all the way down to the bottom of the swing high to swing low, you have it sitting in this A, B, C, D. This is where, this is where you want to be buying it at. The 50% retracement and the 382% retracement are the C's, okay? That is that is a, a, B, C, and D could be way up here back to 150 if, if you're asking me for a projection. But C is right here. So that's set, that's my second confluence. If it, if it ends up going below 60, $62, then obviously everything everything neglects. It re, you know, it doesn't, it's invalidated. But until then, you have two confluences. You have this invert, you have this uh, doji right here, and then you have this 50% retracement where I love buying. This is just a pullback. It's a correction from as like we went, it literally went from $39 all the way up to $105. So what happens after? It gets a correction back down to this 382 50% like you're seeing right here. And that's where we're sitting. So the contracts that I'm looking at, and I put this in the Discord, I'm just gonna give you guys some free game. No, actually, before I give you this free game, like before I give you the actual, like what we're looking at inside the Discord, we swung PDD, like we swung PDD. We took PDD calls May 8th, and these cooked up. A lot of people made a bunch of bread. If you come over to the profit section right here, you have people making four hundred and eighty-eight dollars in one in overnight. Like it's not like it's a it's a swing trade. You're not it doesn't even take any mental brain capacity to actually hop into those. Okay, so PDD cooked up. 
It went all the way to $65. But I think there's another entry. I think that was just the beginning. And I'm going to give you the exact contracts. But before I do that, follow the Twitter. Follow the Twitter. The link is in the bio. I ain't been in the live so long. What's good? That's because I don't go live Monday through Saturday. I just come on. I just come on live on Sunday. And if you catch it, you catch it. If you catch this knowledge, if you catch this information, then you catch it. Um, and the people that have been catching it have been doing very well because what we've been going over, it's been consistent. Like I've been telling you guys, this is a bullish market since way back in November, December, January, February, March. Everybody was like, no, it's not a bull market. It's not going to go up. And what do you know? We've just been going up. So Shopify gave you Apple. Some of you, who remembers, who remembers Apple? Apple, I gave, I gave you Apple, but let's get at least two to three followers on the Twitter. We have 140 people in here. Let's get, let's get two followers on the Twitter. Go to the link in the bio and then, uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you guys the exact contracts that you need to be looking at for PDD. Look, I even gave you PDD on the Twitter. You get, look, look, I forgot to show you this. I, I forgot to show you this, but we're going to look at this too. We're going to look at CBX. But look, Bitcoin. These are the trades we took Friday We had or Thursday. We had PDD, Tesla, two huge bangers from Wealth on Mars. Like, we go over every single trade that we take on a daily basis. Like we, this is the UAL trade that we lost, but we got Riot, we got Microsoft, and there's some spy scalps. Here goes the five nine trades. Like, and then there's this the UAL. You know, so you want to follow the Twitter. There's a lot of great stuff on the Twitter. We just need one more follower, and then we'll uh, we'll get it started. We need one more follower on the Twitter. CBX, you've been hating. I see. Come on, bro. I don't be hating. John, John's not coming until you know spy go back down below three ninety four hundred. I think it says 500, but just as crazy. Spy is going to look, man. <laughs> Spy is going is going to continue to go up. In my opinion, you know, you don't have to follow it. You know, you can do what you want. But okay, we got the followers on the Twitter. So we had the second confluence right here. This is the C that I was talking about. We got the first one was the weekly doji. That is a reversal candle. The third confluence that I'm seeing is that we are on a trend line. Okay, before I go over the contracts that we're going to be looking at, we're on the trend line. This is this is what you want to see. Look, bounced right here, bounced right here. What do you think is gonna? Well, you know, what do you think is gonna happen right when it gets right there? And if the measure move is correct, you know, it it says PDD is gonna get back to around 130, 140, 150, or back up around here. And the thing is, we've looked at this same formation. That's why I'm very confident on what I'm telling you guys right now. And I want you guys to get into this. You know, don't, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Do what you want. But I'm showing you guys this trade because this is one that I've seen play out so many times in this exact same pattern, in this exact same channel. We got three confluences. We're going to buy time on it. Some people are looking for the contract. I'm looking at the September 100s, okay? September September calls the 100s for PDD. And I think they're going for like $90. Very cheap right now. But if you look at what they're trading at, back when PDD was way up here, they were going for $1,200. I think they can make it back up there. Plus, you got September. And another thing. Let me show you guys. We got And another thing. The reason I'm going with the September 100s is because if you look at, if you look at when, when you had this bottom right here, okay? You had this bottom. Let me show you. You had this you had this bottom right here this was back in back in October and then how long did it take to get back up here how long did it take to get back up to the top and then go back down it took you three months so you had it from October October 24th right and then you come over here the top put the top in January 30th so what October November December January that's three months okay and just to, just to confirm it, you know, just to confirm it, just to make sure we actually are, you know, it happens, it happened more than one time. Okay, this was the bottom back in March 22nd or March 14th, 2022. Okay, you had it right here. Now, how long did it take to get back up to, you know, this top, really this top, to be honest with you, this top right here, June, June, three months. So... Why am I telling you to get the September 100s? Is because what 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 month are we in right now? May, uh, June, July, August, September. So you have, I, I'm, you're buying a whole lot of time. You understand? So 
three, three or four or five months is what I'd be looking at for this to make a complete reversal back up and make a new high for the year. Okay, I just gave you guys a full in-depth analysis of what I plan on swinging. You know, you don't have to swing it. I really don't care. But remember, I'm the same person that gave you Apple. I'm the same person that gave you Shopify. I'm the same. Like, you understand? I was telling you, I was literally, I came on here and I told everyone in the live stream back when it was way down here, back when it, back when it had that pullback, this is a dip you want to buy. I have a video. You want to be buying right here at 150. All right. And now you look back, it's at 172. You come over to Shopify. I was telling you Shopify back when it was $40. You know, way back here, like way back here, like you understand. So, and this was a bullish megaphone. That's why I told you, like it looks, it looks kind of like what PDD was in. Like this is a bullish megaphone. I was telling you to buy it back when it retested the bottom of the trend line, and now it's back at the top. You understand? You understand what's going on here? But anyways, I really like PDD. I think that's one that you guys should be looking at. Um, but anyways, let, let's let's look at some stocks. You got? Let's look at some stocks. You know, you guys want to look at? Let's see if we can find some good ones. Let's see if we can find some good ones. Uh, bought August, I think August. I don't think they have August contracts for PDD. That's the thing. I've been waiting on this PDD opportunity forever. So glad it's finally about to, oh yeah, I think PDD China is ready to give us this opportunity. Will you hold until September? It depends. Like, you know, everybody has different goals, okay? If you like your, if, if, if PDD goes up 50% and you like your 50%, cool, take your 50%. You understand like but some people you know they want to they, they they're a little bit more risky they want to hold until you know a hundred percent two hundred percent it's all up to what you what you know everybody has different goals and, and plans for their portfolio you have to manage your portfolio all i can do is like this is a good one this is one that i'm putting my money into you know will you i don't know will you sell i don't know you know so but if you're in the discord you can obviously ask me like am i still in am i you know and i'll tell you like but when am I going to sell? I don't know. Uh, Tesla. Let's look at Tesla. Let's look at Tesla. We'll look at Tesla Square, JP. Okay, you got you guys in here. We got a lot of people in here. We got a lot of people in here that want to look at a lot of stocks. Um, and I'm and I'm perfectly, perfectly happy to show you guys what what are some good opportunities in the market. So we're going to look at Tesla first. Somebody said, what's the Twitter? The link is in the bio. Make sure you guys are inside of the Discord, inside of the Twitter. I mean, the Instagram. Just check out what Wealth on Mars is doing. It's bigger. It's bigger than black and white. Like this is a this is a huge community. At the end of the day, um, that we that we continue to put in effort and and make sure everybody's good. But if you look at Tesla right now, Tesla is bullish. Okay, and I'm not just saying Tesla. First of all, I'm gonna go over the fundamentals. Like I believe Tesla is bullish because if you look at what's happening with the AI industry, if you look at what's gonna going to happen with the electric vehicle industry, Tesla is literally leading all of the, like Tesla has more AI information just from just from people like they're front running the game basically. They're ahead of they're ahead of the game. They're more than just an EV. I've seen Tesla robots, bro. <laughs> like they're going to continue to innovate and. Kathy Woods also said this was going to get to 3,000. I believe, I believe her, okay? So if you look at the bigger picture, this is definitely sitting in a huge bull flag, okay? You had, you had the correction, right? And what did I tell you guys about, that, about, the, about the correction that you see right here? I'm going to delete everything to make sure it's all pretty for the people that are getting confused. But this, the 50% to 382% retracement from the swing high to swing low, this is the buy area, okay? I was telling you guys this back when it went to 150, okay? If you got that bounce to 150, it went all the way back up to 174, okay? So until it can start trading below 140, 144, that is where you want to be bullish. Right here is not where you want to be bullish. Right here is actually where you're getting a good buying opportunity, if you ask me. But let me delete everything. If you come over here and look, first of all, we're sitting in this bull flag. It retested the bottom. If you come over here, it hasn't even went to the top, okay? It ha we haven't even seen Tesla get back to the top. Could it stop right here? Eh, we'll have to see. But if you look at the four hour, let's go to the four hour. And what I actually found something very interesting with this that I'm going to show you that it actually, it happened a decent amount of times. If you look at Tesla right now, there's absolutely no way I would be shorting right here. You already missed the, you already missed the decent short like up here. Why? Because it had this bear divergence that you could have saw happening on Friday, okay? If you didn't get that, there's no point in trying to, sh trying to short a demand, okay? It's, it's sitting in this buy area. Why is this demand? 
every single time it comes right here you had you had it reject reject but then it boosted above this was now this is now supply turn demand and then you literally had that same thing that I'm talking it was demand okay it keeps bouncing right there so until we start trading below which will be around once below 160 that's a good time to short it right here is to take your risk to reward to take your risk to reward and to get you know calls I will get calls right here um, but another thing that I saw like if you zoom out and go back to where it bottomed out last time like this is kind of like the same situation Tesla is kind of repeating itself with the same situation that happened okay so you had you had a rejection you had a rejection you had a rejection and then right here you had a supply turn demand okay and then you saw what happened right here and then it bounced up and went crazy okay so this looks kind of like what's happening right now um, so I wouldn't be shorting right here there's absolutely no way the only time I'll be shorting is if it starts trading below 160 if it starts trading below 160 oh yeah you best believe this is gonna retest 150 152 etc but shorting right here eh, not worth it in my opinion I think getting calls right here um, is, is better all right so that's what I think about Tesla I think te overall like it is bullish like if you look at this is this is bullish this is bullish it's sitting in a in a in a bull flag like you're seeing right here um, so yeah that's what I'm looking at on a bigger time frame and a smaller time frame I would only short it if it goes below 160 um, so yeah hope so, I hope that helps you out hope that helps you out um, let's see what you, let's see what else you guys are talking about in here man I think we're gonna have a really good stream I think there's a lot of good plays that we're gonna find in here okay somebody said look at XOM we're gonna look at XOM all right so let's look at some XOM first let's make sure you guys are following the Twitter okay you guys are following the Twitter I don't think I say it. you guys are following it obviously I, we got more followers um, but let's continue to follow the Twitter let's continue to show love to wealth on Mars because at the end of the day this is a community that connects people um, and a community that helps people grow and understand like come on here for free and teach you guys like you understand I come, I'm not just coming here and be like hey get in here get in like no I'm, I'm teaching you how I evaluate this stuff and how we went 10 for 11 um, this week okay all of these were called inside the discord meta BA spy PayPal CRM the only the only thing we lost was UAL okay that's the only and that's actually hilarious because <laughs> because we called all this like we gave you guys the game like we gave it to you but anyways anyways um you got an automation program i have no idea what that is uh what about the fed speakers voice that that's my discord name somebody asked what my discord name is voice the fed speakers what I, okay what i'm telling you guys right now it, and i and i said this last sunday last sunday before cpi came out before Fed Powell spoke, before anything happened, oh my God, the audio is so bad on Twitch. Let me fix it. Hold on. Before anything happened, before anything happened, I was like, hey, the market is going to continue to go up. It doesn't matter if it, it doesn't matter if we if if Feds come out and they're bearish and they're and they're hawkish. It doesn't matter if CPI. It doesn't matter. The market is going to continue to go up because one thing about the market right now is that there is more bears than bulls. And the, and the thing is, I've noticed this. We're, we're making new highs on the queues almost weekly. But what you have when we dump like $2 is bears starting to come out and be like, oh, we're going to 330. We're going to 310. So what that's telling me is, is that even though we're continuing to make these new highs, there's still so many bears in the market that it's like, God dang, like there, it makes no sense. And another thing is that when, when the market is so, this is not a bear market rally anymore. Like this is a, Every single time we've been we've been green for five months straight or something like that. I think it's it, five, five months straight that there's that it's bullish that we just continue to make newer highs. It's twenty for twenty that spy closes green for the year. Okay, it's twenty for twenty, and you can look that up. You can look that up. You know, don't take my word for it. You know, go look it up. Go look it up. But anyways, you look at XOM. Hopefully, I fixed the audio on Twitch. My bad if it sucks. You know, I, I, I'll fix it next time. But if you look at XOM right now, this is just a, to me, there's nothing to really even look at. Like if, if I come over here and look at this, there's nothing, there's nothing for me to sit here and be like, yeah, like this is fire. <laughs> like, no, there is nothing. So what I would tell you is 
What I would tell let me see something. Okay, you do have some bull divergence, you know, that might be forming right here because you are making a higher, you're, you're making, you're making lower lows, but this is a higher low that's forming right here. So that's one thing, but you know, you want to make sure it starts trading back above like one one ten. If you're bullish, if you're bullish, you want to make sure this is trading back above one ten. But ultimately, I don't see anything for this, so I'm not gonna look at it for too long. Like I don't see anything. I really don't. So you know, sometimes it's, sometimes it's just like that. TikTok not working. Wait, what's wrong with TikTok? You're right. Is it not working? Maybe TikTok not working. Maybe TikTok is not working because a lot of people just left. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to restart it. I'm going to restart it. Is the Twitch audio good? We got we got people in the Twitch. Like, is the Twitch audio good or is it bad? Because this dude, Kmon. Oh, shoot, it's Kmon. <laughs> Kmon, you're not going to say it fixed or anything? You're just going to sit there and, you know, it's good now. Bro wasn't going to say it was fixed or nothing. He was going to say the Twitch audio bad. I tried. For, bro, it's, man, something wrong with dude. All right, it's good now. Yes, Twitch is fine. All right, cool. Maybe maybe Kmont speakers are messed up or something. I don't know. But, yeah, for, for XOM, I don't really see anything. Although CVX, you know, they kind of move. They kind of move, you know, alike. And I see an inverse, you know, bear flag for, for CVX, okay? But I also see some bull divergence. So CVX right now, it's kind of complicated. But I will say, I think oil has made a high. You know, I think, I think oil might be done. I think oil might be done. But, you know, you never want to be too sure. It is sitting on the trend line, et cetera. So we we'll have to see if we can get a bounce next week. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that oil is done. Like, I, don't, I don't see oil making a new high. Hopefully the TikTok is fixed. Uber. Let's look at Uber since you came in here and, you know, just shot at Uber. Let's look at Uber. Um... Uber, in my opinion, is definitely a good buy. Why? Because they have a lot of technology. Like Uber is not just a ride sharing. It's not just a ride sharing. Uh, you know, stock. Okay. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that Uber does behind the scenes. There's a lot of AI technology that they have. There's a lot of information that they have as well. So Uber, in my opinion, is definitely a good long term stock, if you ask me. Um, but it looks like it's breaking out of you know what you see right here. And if we have a measured move, if we take a measured move. You know, it says it's about to get to 45, around $45. So I would anticipate Uber to continue to go up in the bigger term. That was on a weekly, the weekly chart. But if you look at the hourly and the four hour, like, bro, like this is just, it's just ugly. Look at this. It's been consolidating and just in, a, in the same range for two whole weeks. So to me, there's nothing to really pay attention too much to on Uber. Like this is just not price action. Not even something that I'll look at and be like, oh yeah, you know, the one thing you have to realize is you cannot, there's so many stocks out there to where you shouldn't sit here and try to force something that just isn't there. Okay. To me, like what the heck is here? I don't see anything. You know, I don't see anything. It, it didn't even give me an intuitive feeling to where I'm like, Oh yeah, like PDD, it gave me an intuitive feeling. Like I really feel like this one is going to go up. Even the TA is, even the TA is matching up. You look at the weekly, et cetera. Like everything is matching up for this to go crazy. Um, but for Uber, like I don't see anything. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you guys come in here with a stock you really want to look at and stuff. But like, if I don't see anything, I'm not gonna waste my time and, and try to look at it. You know, um, Airbnb. Let's look at Airbnb. What happened to Airbnb? Earnings came out. You know, anything can happen for earnings. But the same thing happened with Disney. I'm telling you right now. Ooh, Airbnb, who cares? Like, who cares what it does on earnings? You shouldn't even be swinging into earnings. That's why I never, that's why I always tell you guys, like, I'm going to wait until after earnings. Just like we did with Disney. And then if you're in the Discord, you know what's about to happen with Disney. Like, Disney's an obvious one. It's sitting at COVID lows. I really like it for a long-term swing. I hopped in on, you know, I hopped in, what, a Thursday, I think. We got into some calls. So for Airbnb, there's nothing that I see here. If anything, you know, it's a buy the dip opportunity for equity. But, you know. There's nothing on here that I'd be like, oh yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Besides the fact that it's coming into, you know, this buy, this buy area that is a possibility, you know? There's a, it's a possible buy area. You know, that it that is that 102, 103 area, you know. But if it starts going below there, oh yeah, it's gonna retest 92, et cetera. But I don't anticipate I anticipate, you know, Airbnb to possibly bounce here. 
but you know, I don't want to look at this one. It's ugly. There's nothing to look at. Hey, what's up, fam? Have a good week. You too, coach. JPM Morgan. All right, let's look at JPM Morgan. You guys want to look at JPM? Let's look at JPM. JPM Morgan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm trying, like I'm trying to come on here and really like give you guys some very good information, but you know, just these stocks that I'm looking at, like they're not it. You know, they're not, they're not it. I don't really like any of the ones that you know we've been looking at, but. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything. I'm not gonna waste my time on here and try to figure it out. But I mean you can Nah. Yeah. I I don't like it. There's nothing that I'm sitting here like, oh yeah, that's fire. That's fire. But let's see, let's see actually if we zoom out, you know, go to the weekly. We're on a weekly time frame. Yeah. The only way I would only buy air I would only look to get JPM if, if it goes back down to like 118, 117. That's a good buy area. But then again, let me show you guys something very cool. You see these big green candles that pop up a lot? Like these candles pop up a whole lot. What you can do is, is, it, is if it goes below the halfway mark of this big green candle, that's a good time to short. But it's also a good time to get calls during that mid, like you see, like you saw right here. So until it can trade below 132, I wouldn't even, I, like until it breaks below here and starts trading below here that's where you want to get puts right here is a buy area a bounce area and i wouldn't short right here okay so until it gets below 132 i would not get into any puts okay below 132 yeah but right here is a good bounce area i would you know if you ask me if you if you if you wanted to know what i would do i would get calls right here i really would i really would but i, I don't mess with it i don't mess with jpm it doesn't look good um i don't like it Lost money on Airbnb. I mean, if you played earnings, man, you know, that's that's sometimes what happens, bro. Ooh, the thunderstorm. The thunder's out. Disney, Disney, the uh Disney needs more we're not gonna look at Disney because Disney needs more it needs more days to sit there and consolidate and to figure out what it's gonna do after its earnings report. So the best thing you can do for Disney if you're bullish is buy some very long term is buy some very long term uh calls because Disney's at a bargain and it's lagging behind a lot of tech. I think Disney's bullish. Like even if you look at the monthly, like yeah, I can see why some people might call this bearish, etc. But I think Disney has too much IP. I think they're gonna thrive in the AI. I think they're just gonna do very good in this next wave of technology that's coming up. But um Boyce was the only one bullish on Amazon and Google when they're at their lows. And that's a fact. It's a fact. And the thing about Amazon right now, Amazon has so much strength. Amazon will continue to go up. I think Friday was the perfect day to be looking, maybe maybe let it fill this gap, you know, down to 107, et cetera. But when it went to 102 in the Discord, I was like, yeah, look for calls. Because this looks exactly how Shopify was looking, okay? Now, right now, this is just an ugly chart. But if you look at, look, take a mental picture. Apple, we'll look at Apple. NVIDIA, we'll look at NVIDIA and then we'll look at Apple. But take a mental picture of this really quick and then go to Shopify. Let me delete all this. We were we were so around. It looks it looks like Shopify. It looks like Shopify when it was right here, you know, consolidating, cooking up a little bit. So yeah. The the also another theory that I have, I don't know if it's right, you know, some sometimes these are just theories. The stocks that haven't made their February high, like you saw right here, February 2nd. February 2nd, the stocks that haven't made their February 2nd high will make a new high this year, okay? You've seen it with the queues already happening, et cetera. So I anticipate Amazon to get to 120, but I think there's going to be a better opportunity, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. <laughs> All right, let's look at NVIDIA. Let's look at NVIDIA. Uh, look, I don't even know what the heck is happening with NVIDIA. All I know is you should not short it. You should not short NVIDIA, okay? And the thing is, I tell you this all the time. I tell you, I, every single time I hop on a live, somebody wants to look at NVIDIA. And me personally, I don't even see NVIDIA being a good swing trading stock right now, you know, until it gets out of this, this consolidation and, you know, starts making bigger moves or even gets a decent size pullback to the downside because you do have a lot of bear divergence, okay? You do have a lot of bear divergence that's happening with NVIDIA. So 
I don't even like the swing trade for it. It has earnings coming up, you know, Wednesday. The only thing I could tell you is that do not be bearish on NVIDIA right now. They have the AI game in a chokehold. And what you have to realize, until it gets a bearish crossover where the AEMA right here, the yellow one, crosses below the 21 EMA, do not short it. The reason I tell you this is because you go back in time, you go back in time, this is where you had a bullish crossover, and then literally it just continued to bounce from the EMAs the entire time. And then this is where you had this bearish crossover, and this is what I would be waiting for. I wouldn't sit here and wait for it to be, like, try to time the top, which a lot of people are trying to do. So I wait for it to, for it to have a bearish uh, EMA crossover where it went from 168 back down to 138. Um, until then, you know, I would leave it alone. But has a lot of bear divergence earnings coming up. There's nothing that I'm sitting here that I love about it. Um, NVIDIA earnings is May 24th, okay? May 24th. But make sure you guys are inside the Discord. Make sure you guys are following the Twitter. Disney calls, thoughts. Okay, so I love Disney. If you're going to get Disney calls, make sure you're buying far out contracts like September or October, okay? Because this could sit here and consolidate after earnings. You know, you need a little bit more information before I, before I fully go over this. There's not that much information. All I know is I like it for a long-term buy, even if you're buying equity, okay? But right now, there's not that much information. It needs a couple more days to sit here and really figure out what it's going to do. Fresh off of earnings, I wouldn't really mess with it heavy. You know, it is sitting in demand. Like, this is huge demand. Huge demand. So I'd be a fool to sit here and tell you to get puts, okay? I'd be a fool. Why? Why would I be a fool? Because it it came down here back back July 2022, okay? It came to this exact same level. And then a couple days after it went all, the, or not even a couple days, like a month after, it went all the way to 124, okay? Last, it went here back October 2022. It, was, it went from $91 to 108. You understand? So to short it right here would be kind of crazy. Um, maybe you get a retest down to, you know, $84, $85. I don't know, but... There, we need more information on Disney is what I'm saying. Uh, Unity. I'm glad someone said Unity. Baba. Apple. Let's look at Apple because I said I was going to look at Apple. Um, it's cooked. <laughs> it's cooked. It's cooked. It is cooked. But, like, okay. Go back on the TikTok. And, <laughs> like, I'm mad at y'all because you don't, you're not following. You, some of you guys are new. I understand. But you want to make sure you're following this account because I, I told you about Apple a while ago. I told you that I told you on the stream, get some long term July, June, get some long term calls because right here, I was literally so put out a tweet, made a whole TikTok video telling you to buy it right here. Some people listen, some people didn't. Some people made a whole lot of money. Some people didn't make anything. So if you look at shop, if you look at Apple right now. The thing with Apple is, like, it's very cooked up. Now, does it need a pullback? Absolutely. Would it would a pullback to the 21 EMA, which will put it back at 168, be perfect? Because it usually, you know, it came, bounced right there back in May, April, April. You know, it usually bounces right there. So that would be perfect. But to me, like, yes, this is this needs, this needs some sort of pullback. Like, you got a lot of bear divergence. So... I wouldn't sit here and tell you guys at all to go, you know, to like the days of me sitting here and telling you to get like some September 180 calls on Apple. It's gone right now. OK, don't do it. It's gone. Don't do it right now. There will be another time. You know, you might catch me on the live another time or you might see a tweet about it or, you know, but right now is not the time to get some long 180 September calls. Like, no, don't do that yet until you get a decent sized pullback. Sort of like what happened right here. You know, sort of like what happened right here. So. If you look at Apple, I'm gonna do the Fibonacci's because let me see. The thing about Apple is it loves pulling back to the 618. Yeah, it loves coming back down to the 618. That's why I knew Apple was a good swing back when it was at 144, okay? So if you take the Fibonacci's, you get the 618. The 618 literally matches up perfect with this pullback and never returned, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna do the same theory. You know, if it, if it continues to work, if it continues to work, you don't sit there and switch it up. You know, you just do the same exact Thing. All right. So the only time I would be looking to go long on Apple and to, to get some maybe call swings or, you know, is around here. 162 to 161, 162. This buy box right here. 
That would be the perfect pullback for Apple. It make a whole lot of sense. And the only thing that makes me not the only thing that makes me not be uh, bearish on Apple is that a lot of people are watching the same rejection point that that everyone's watching right now. And usually when that happens, it just blasts above and goes crazy. And the reason I think Apple could do that and, and definitely make it to 200, 250, you know, I think Apple's going to continue to go up. I just think right now is not a good time for you to get some some long term swings. And that's what I like talking about on this live stream. I don't like sitting here talking about intraday opportunities because that's all it's always different. You know, anything can happen intraday, anything. But we did go 10. You understand, like this is what we did on an intraday this week, last week, Monday through Friday. This is what we did, 10 for 11, okay? So, intraday, anything can happen. The only thing that's not making me bearish, the only thing that's not making me bearish on Apple is that it is sitting at this rejection point, okay? And usually when this happens, I think Apple can blast above because I do see Apple getting a 230 before everything's said and done. But if you wanna be perfect, if you wanna make sure you're getting a good opportunity, if we do get a pullback inside the market, which is, is, is likely, is likely, I mean, we looked at the fear and greed index and, you know, when it's, when it's plummeting, like you're seeing right here, that means a lot of people are getting in the calls, okay? You know, we had this reversal back in April 17th and we went all the way back up here, but now it's kind of plummeting again. So we'll have to see what it does right here. That means we're extreme, we're in extreme greed period. And you guys remember what I was telling you back on like the last live streams? I was like, does it even matter? You know, does the fear and greed index even matter? Because some of you guys remember in 2021, well, we, it was just, it just sat in greed like all year and we just kept going up. So could that be the same situation? I mean, it's been happening. You know, it's been proving itself for two weeks straight now. So let's see if it can get a third, fourth week and fifth week. And if that happens, we are truly, truly very, very bearish and you guys better buckle up, okay? Um, but yeah, this is what I see for Apple. Intraday, anything can happen, it's pretty choppy. The only time I'd be really adamant about Apple and like very convicted and highly, like highly convicted about Apple is if we get retest 162, 163 around there. Okay. All right. Anyways, 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 but Apple will continue to go up. Okay. Apple's bullish. Hey, I'm new and was wondering exactly what you're talking about right now. We're looking at the stock market. Um, if you join the discord, like, let me show you guys something that's very cool about the discord. You come over to, this is free and I should have charged for this, man. I really should have made, I really should have charged y'all for this. I really should have, but I won't, you know, wealth on Mars is all about education and making sure you guys are all good. And at the end of the day, this is education that you can find on Google, but I put it together in a very nice format. It's all on Kahoot. There's quizzes after there's live trading, live charts. Okay. You go to introduction to options. This is what it is right here. Call options, underlying asset, option pricing, risk management, market analysis, trading psychology. You go to trading strategies, swing trading, day trading, or there's a bunch of strategies in here. ICT, bullish divergence, pivot break strategy. And then eventually there'll be fundamental analysis if you like long-term need to knows, et cetera. So, and we even have an investing champ, like, bro, anyways. So yeah, go in there. I can't, you know, everything is linked in the bio if you want the, if you want the discord. I can't, you know, I, I'm not going to bore people that already know what I'm talking about. You know, this is a, this is a, it's, it's labeled watch list builder. Okay. So we're going to build some watch lists. We already looked at Tesla. We already looked at Tesla. I've been live for 43 minutes. Shop, Shopify already cooked up. I wouldn't be looking at Shopify puts me personally. Now you can, you can, don't get me wrong. The only reason I wouldn't be looking for Shopify puts is because, you know, nothing <laughs> like you're trying to time the top. You know, you're, you're trying to get the top. So, you know, until it shows me something, I'm like, yeah, this is this is bearish. Then yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't really be looking at Shopify puts, but I do like it for a pullback, probably like fifty nine, sixty dollars to get this retest. Can you show Tesla again? Are you the Jake on Twitter, man? Who? Who? Who's that? All right, let's look at let's look at Unity. Unity software. Unity, in my opinion, is ready to go crazy. It's ready to go crazy. Another thing I want to look at after this, I want to look at something after this as well. But Unity, the only thing with Unity right now is that it needs to, like, it, it, it keeps fake breaking out of where you're seeing it right now. So it needs to really, it needs to really break out of here. Like right now, it's just consolidation, et cetera. Just, just chilling. It's consolidating. Like there's nothing to really even be paying attention to. 
But you need to be seeing what it does uh, come this week or when it retests this 2870 level, okay? This is a very key level. You got the EMAs crossing over, et cetera. But, you know, nothing nothing too much here that I'm, that I'm happy about or, like, super excited about because there's nothing, you know, there's nothing going on. <laughs> there's nothing going on. But I want to show you guys this one right here, okay? And I show you guys this every single week. Some of you guys know, I've been showing you guys this since it was $41 and went back up to 46. I told you again back when it was 42. We made money inside of the Discord. We swung it. You know, UAL Airlines. It's it's ready. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. And the, you know it's funny, it's in the same exact pattern that a lot of these stuff like if you guys don't look, man, if you're not making money with UAL if you haven't, join the Discord, please, because we made money with it, and I plan on swinging it again, okay? I plan on getting inside of it again because this is the same exact thing. I'm going to show you guys something, then we're going to move on to what Kathy Woods has been buying. But you look at this, man. This is getting back to $60. Rather, rather you like it or not, rather you like it or not, I don't care. But this is getting back to $60, UAL. So what can you do? You can buy some far out contracts and you can sit on a beach in the sand. A lot of you guys, look man, I've made the most money by swinging stuff on highly convicted plays like this. Not by intraday trading. Now there's a lot of people that make money, a lot of money on intraday trading, but I've made a lot of money, more money on swing trading than intraday trading. Okay? So UAL, I think the October calls could probably make you a lot of money, okay? And you have the passport demand at all time highs. There's people flying, okay? There's people flying. I don't know if you've seen China, but China's out of, bro. There's so many reasons. I made a whole video about it. But UAL looks very good. If you look at this right here, okay? Let me, sh let me show you guys something. And this is going to put this into perspective for you, okay? It's going to put this into perspective for you. So listen up. If you come over here, okay? This is where Shop, this is, no. This is where Chewy was. <laughs> We're going to go back to Chewy. Because I made a video. I was like, Shopify looks like Chewy, okay? Now I'm going to show you something. UAL right here. This looks like Chewy. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Okay. Not right now. Not right now. But when we were messing with Chewy back right here, when it was in this bullish megaphone, you know, delete all this right here. Don't even pay attention to this. This right here is where UAL is. Okay. You had this right here. You had another one. This is where UAL is. And then it made it back to the top. And then, you know, what happened after? Who cares? But you look at Shopify, dang, we literally just had Shopify marked up. God dang it. You look at Shopify, same exact thing. Told you on, told you on Twitter, told you on TikTok, made a whole video about it. And some of y'all still didn't take it, but a lot of people did take it. I get a lot of messages talking about, yeah, you made me money on equity, et cetera. And I love it. I love it because some of this stuff is just too obvious. This is where UAL is right here. Okay. Before Shopify had this big old green, Hope candle, you know, to the upside. Shopify was right here, and this is where I've, this is. I mean, this is where I was telling you to buy Shopify. This is where I was telling you in the forty dollar region, and now it's at sixty one. So if you look at UAL, look, man, I really think it's in the same exact situation. But what you have to realize is nothing is one hundred percent. Okay, nothing is one hundred percent. I could be wrong, but I'm telling you, I don't think I'm wrong. I haven't been wrong for three straight times. I think this is gonna make four for four. I really do. I really do. And don't worry, I'm gonna hop into it. If you're in, if you're inside the Discord, we're gonna make money on UAL. We already swung it one time. We took profits. It went up like 120. percent We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again because this is the pullback that we waited for. It went all the way to 47 dollars. Now it's having its pullback. <laughs> look, man, I think it's ready. I think it's ready. And the thing is, you like even if we look at a small, <laughs> yo, I'm excited. I'm excited. And this is what I mean. Like this is what I mean. This is the stocks that we need to figure. This, these are the stocks that we need to find. Not the, not this, you, not the use, you know, not, not when it's like this, you know, now don't get me wrong. These are great intraday trading opportunities. Don't get me wrong. Like these are amazing intraday. We traded, we traded you calls on a Friday and the contracts go crazy because you moves a lot. Like it moved $3, $3 for a 20, a $30 stock is crazy. So if you're a small account, Definitely look at you on Thursday and Friday and even Monday. You know, this is just a stock that moves for a low, cheap contract is what I'm saying. Okay. So UAL, look, man, even on even on a smaller time frame, 
what is this doing? Like some of you guys know what this is doing. I don't even want to draw it. Like we just know what we just know what this is doing. You got the you got the flag, you got the pole. You understand? Let me just sit here and draw the let me just draw the measure move really quick, man. Let me just draw the measure move. It, it's going back to 48 in the short term, okay? That's just the short term. This really has a measure move back to around $50. And this is why I'm telling you to get just the long term like October calls or something, you know? And then and then come back inside the join the Discord after. After you do that, join the Discord, okay? But yeah, this is about to go crazy. I really like it. Um, could be wrong though. Could be wrong. Um, what is good, Mars? My boy Canadian. Hey, who's spamming SoFi? SoFi moves too slow for me to want to do it. Can you look at IBM? All right, let's look at IBM. So somebody said cues. We already looked at the cues before we started the live stream. But don't worry. If you missed out on anything, like some people are coming in, coming in here and missing out on stuff. If you missed out on anything, just follow the Twitter. Okay. After after this live stream is all said and done, I come back on here and I repurpose the content. Okay. So I, I on Twitter I go over like yeah this is what we talked about on the cues. Click here on the YouTube. Okay. So follow the Twitter if you missed out on the cues and you'll you'll get a notification in like an hour or something. Okay. So we're not going to go over because a lot of people stayed in, okay? A lot of people stayed in. A lot of people are here that already looked at this. And whoever said IBM, you're completely right, buddy. You're right. You're right. This, These are the opportunities that we look for, well, that I look for, that I've seen a bunch of times and that I've seen it play out a bunch of times. All right, if you look at, if you look at IBM, what is this doing? It's bull diverging. You have lower lows, but this is making a higher low, okay? So this already makes for a great swing because it's happening on a daily time frame. Now, if you would have caught it back before it had this super green day, you know, back when it was falling 120, you know, that would have been the perfect swing. But you still have a good swing. It's happening on a weekly or on a daily time frame. So that tells me it still has a lot more room inside of the tank. And also, what you have to realize is look, look what it's been doing this entire time, like, I don't think this is going to change not one bit. It looks like it just comes down to the bottom of the trend and bounces back up and goes crazy. You understand? So, look. Yeah. Uh, to me, <laughs> to me, sometimes it's that easy, you know? But if you look at this, technically it's looking good on a daily time frame. You even have it gapping up and coming within half of this mark. So, you even have a good risk to reward opportunity. Well, all you have to do is stop out once it gets below this half mark right here, which is below 121.30, okay? So if you were to get like some, some June calls, you would be, <laughs> I think this one looks good. I think it definitely looks good. Now, the only thing that I'll be paying attention to is to make sure I get in at a good entry, okay? For calls, okay? I wouldn't, I'm not looking at puts. Nobody come in here talking about puts. This is not a put play, okay? This is a call opportunity, all right? The only thing I'd be looking at is to make sure I get a good entry because it did go so crazy on Friday. So I'd be looking for it to pull back maybe to like 122.30 or somewhere around here for it to get back inside of here to retest and see if it was real. That's good risk to reward even if you took calls and then see if it can get a bounce and go back up because the daily time frame is telling us that this has room to get back to 124, okay? And for IBM, that's a lot. Like IBM, it, it's, you know, it's a large cap. But it doesn't move that well. You know, it doesn't it doesn't move crazy, you know? So I can see it getting back to 124, maybe even more. Bull diverging, heavy. Heavy. The only time I'd be short, below 120, okay? So whoever said IBM, I think this one has great potential risk to reward to the upside because easy stop loss, right? And you're getting it at a good opportunity. Like, it's already fell from 132. Or really, like, if we zoom really out, like, it fell from 146 down to 121 and now you see some bull diverging the bull, a bull divergence has not happened on this stock the entire time it's been falling so from all the way to december december right here all the way until may you didn't have any bull divergence okay but now you have some bull divergence right here okay i love it for calls whoever said this one i'm actually gonna put this on my watch list let me add it i like it i think it could be a good intraday opportunity you know i don't know too much about ibm I know, you know, I know it's a, you know, I know it's a tech, a tech company, you know, I know IBM, but I don't trade it is what I mean. I don't swing it. I don't really mess with it. But since it does have this semi-decent, you know, pattern, I'm going to add it. You know, I'm going to add it to the purple watch list. You know, you saw me add it. I think it could be, you know, I think it'd be decent. So whoever said IBM, yeah, th these are the setups that we look for. Somebody said Disney bankrupt. You're a fool if you think Disney's going bankrupt. Disney has so much IP 
and they're gonna continue. Look, let me let me let me put this into perspective for you. You know the blockchain, and you, like copy copyright infringement. Like people are believe it or not, people are making money on Disney's content. Just they don't like without even talking to Disney. Like they're just taking Disney's content and reposting it or whatever they're doing with it. But now Disney could put their content on a blockchain, and you can't even like copyright is just about to be gone. And to me, Disney has so much IP, I intellectual property. They, come on, man. Disney's not going anywhere. They even own ESPN. I'm very bullish on Disney. And the thing is, I didn't buy, like, I didn't mess with Disney. Like, I just day traded it. But now, oh, yeah, you best believe, you know, what thought Mars knows. They know we haven't lost any money on Disney. <laughs> we were waiting for this. We waited until after earnings. I always tell you guys this. Wait until after earnings. Wait until after earnings. Wait. Especially if it's like a week, a week. Especially if you just got to wait a week. Just wait. Wait for the week, see what happens. If it goes up, all right, you missed it. But if it goes down, it gives you the perfect buying opportunity. MU. Let's look at MU. My Can Canadian boy wants to look at MU. This is one I love. I love MU. I really do. This is a semiconductor. It hasn't gone as crazy as its big brothers, AMD, NVIDIA. But it's sitting in this pretty perfect pr pattern. This is a pretty perfect pattern. Until it can fully break below $60, $59 and close below there, it's on a trend. Like this trend has been backing it up since March. You had a bounce, you had a bounce, you had a bounce, and now you're having a bounce. Okay? And if you zoom out, like if you zoom out, let me delete everything. If you zoom out and look at MU on a weekly time frame, this thing looks absolutely ready to explode. It looks ready to explode, man. Like <laughs> it really does. It really does. Why? Okay, let me show you guys something. Once it gets to this green, like once it gets to this rejection point, it just drops. Okay, you got to drop. Came back up, came back up, dropped. Came back up, dropped. Came back up. Uh oh, it's just, it's sitting here. It really wants to do something right here. It really wants to do something right here. So if I was looking at MU, if you're in the Discord, you already know. You already know. I haven't lost confidence in this play, I still really like it. I think it even turned green on, on Thursday or Friday. But don't worry. I think this was going to do crazy. And if it doesn't, you know, it doesn't. But we got enough time to really let it play out, et cetera. Uh, if Disney retest $87, that's perfect. If Disney retest $87, that's even a good equity buy. Bullish divergence, my... All right, bro. Uh, you still bullish on Bitcoin? Come on, man. If you're not bullish on Bitcoin in the... Oh, wait, what? If you're not bullish on Bitcoin right now, you're doing something all wrong. This is accumulation year. Look, <laughs> like people that say Bitcoin is bearish right now, there's absolutely no way to be bearish on Bitcoin until it starts trading below 19K. Below 19K, yeah, it's probably going to retest like 16, 15. But even then, it's a good buying opportunity. You've seen it. You've seen Bitcoin perform well. Kathy Woods thinks we're getting to a million dollars. You've seen Bitcoin do well, even, even in the midst of you know, bank crashes, et cetera. Like this is a safe haven at the end of the day. And I think it's going to continue to play to play that role. But what you have to realize is, yes, you're going to get a pullback on Bitcoin after it went crazy. But this is the area that I like to buy it in, the twenty, the 22.9K and the 25K. If you're in the Discord, you are buying way down here. You have nothing to worry about. You're buying way down here. You can take profits if you want, although I think Bitcoin is going to continue to, you know, go to 37, you know, 40K, 50K. You know, you can take profit if you want. But we were buying Bitcoin right here after the FTX crash. I was telling everyone to buy. There were so many people. <laughs> it's actually funny. It's actually funny because we were one of the only right channels on TikTok. And it, the thing is, I wasn't even playing around with you. I wasn't even like, oh, yeah, it might go back down. It might go back up. Like, no, I was telling you to buy. I don't care if I'm wrong. This is where I'm buying. This is where I think you should buy. This is where I'm posting you should buy. Buy it. Not a financial advisor, but I like it right here. And you see Bitcoin taking off as we talk about it, which is funny, okay? But yeah, look at Bitcoin. Look, look, look. <laughs> they heard what was talking about it. But yeah, this is where you want to buy Bitcoin. I really like it. Um, now, I already bought Bitcoin in this area. I've already bought Bitcoin in this area. So the, the next area that I'll buy is, is right here. You know, that's just for my personal use. But you should continue to dollar cost average in, into, into Bitcoin, into crypto, et cetera. You know, we, we have an investing channel. We have an investing channel. Some people are like, no, you wasn't, bro. You wasn't telling people to buy it back in back in December. Back in December, you wasn't. You wasn't. Wait a minute. 
maybe you was. Maybe you was telling people to buy Filecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Gala. What does that say? December 4th. Wow. Let's look at December 4th. Wow. Wow. This, wow. 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 God, man. Wow. Wow. He really did. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, MSTR. Look, we've been buying up MSTR. If you. Oh, my. my I'm about to buy some more. I'm about to buy some more. I'm about to buy some more. I have to. If you don't know what MSTR is, if you missed it when we were talking about it back when it was 209, when it had its first dip around here, this is where I was telling you to buy back in March. But hold on, bro. But after this, we'll, we'll be done, okay? I just want to show you guys, like, yeah, we really do this inside the Discord. Maybe you need to check it out. Because even long-term buys, like, look. Just bought some ARC and MSTR. March 13th. You come over here. Come over here, March 13th. You come up here. It was around $194 to $207. It went all the way up to $346 in the span of like one month. One, <laughs> one month. One month. And now it's having a great pullback. So, yes, I think this pullback is one that you need to be paying attention to. The only thing is that I'll be making sure I pay attention to, because like I said, I like, I like, I like uh, MSTR. I like Bitcoin. Bitcoin follow or MSTR follows Bitcoin. Okay, so I said I like Bitcoin in this 22 to 25k area. So that means MSTR would have to. I have to see Bitcoin at 24 to 25k, and that's where I'd be buying MSTR. Um, but yes, this is a great dip buy opportunity, and it like even. <laughs> Even if you look right here, like it just matches up perfectly. Now, me personally, I, I would like if I was to dollar cost average in the MSTR, since I already have like 207 as my average, I want to get MSTR around 249 for another for another good buy, you know, accumulate along the way. And it matches up with the 50% to 382% retracement. OK, so what you're seeing right here is just a retracement MSTR. If you don't have a long term. OK, before I get out of here, I've been live for an hour and 20 minutes. We already looked at PDD, but if you go to the Twitter, follow the Twitter. If you're not following the Twitter, follow the Twitter, okay? Follow the Twitter because I'm going to repost everything that we looked at. I put it in all cute and pretty for you guys. All you got to do is click on it, okay? It's very, it's very simple. Okay, let me get this final statement out before I get off the live. But if oil is done making new highs, travel needs oil. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Oil prices skyrocketed. It was the main like, you see, you see oil going absolutely crazy. Now I'm not saying you know oil is done. You know you have to see it breaking below here first. Like you got to make sure it's breaking below 150. You know, first. You know I'm not gonna say it's done just yet, but right here is the is the deciding factor is what I'm saying. And I've actually seen these patterns break down a whole lot of the time. Like I've seen it. Okay, so we'll have to see. You know I'm not saying it's done, but it definitely needs to get back above once. Like it needs to make a new high, okay? By that I mean it needs to break above 172. Cause right now it just makes it's, it's right now it's just making lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. Now will it bounce right here and make a lower high? You know? But if it, it for for CVX and oil to be bullish, it needs to make it needs to at least break above 174, 172 for CVX. But if you don't have a long term portfolio, okay. Let's say let's say you have a thousand dollars that you want to that you want to day trade. I'm gonna stop you right there. Don't day trade with that. Put the eight hundred and put it into your long term, and then take the two hundred and mix it up with some day trades and swing trades, okay? And then you get another thousand dollars, and you put eight hundred into your long term, and then you take the two. You understand? That's how you play this game. You don't sit here and, and oh I got I got five thousand dollars. I'm ready to day trade. I don't have a long term. I don't even have a savings. <laughs> I just want a day trade. You understand? Like that's not the that's not a good way to go about it. Timing, patience is what you is is what will ease your mind while you're getting into these trades. Like some people are so so panicked and so feared out because they they get so fear when they get they enter a trade and had ultimate and instant and instantly just have fear in their heart. Why? Because that's their last five thousand dollars, man. That's their last. <laughs> 
no savings account, no investing. That's just a last. That's just a last five. <laughs> Nah, of course, you know, you can YOLO and full port to get a Lambo, of course, but you also got to be, you also got to be happy, you also, you also can't be mad at the consequences if, if you do end up, you know, it doesn't go your way. Now, don't get me wrong, that's how you make a whole lot of bread, but you got to build it up first. You got to build it up first, like, that's how it goes. Do you have call-outs on Twitter? Uh, we, we don't give call-outs on Twitter, you know, we give call-outs inside of the Discord, like... Tesla calls. These went absolutely crazy, you know. But we do give um, we give a lot of stuff like the trades we took. We give some parlays every once in a while. You know, there's a lot of good stuff on the Twitter for sure. Like these are the trades we took, and then I told you about UAL. You know, but we went ten for eleven this week. Maybe you need to join the Discord. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream, man. If you missed any, if you missed any of what we talked about. From start to finish, it will be on the YouTube in about an hour. It will be on the Twitter in about, you know, an hour or two. Um, everything will be nice and pretty for you on there. So you want to make sure you're following the Twitter. If, you, if some of you guys were calling out stocks like Tesla and, and the Qs, and I'm sorry I didn't go back to it. There's just a lot of new people. There's just people that have already been watching from the start. And, you know, they don't want to hear that again. Like, you know, I went over PDD for like 20 minutes. Nobody wants to hear me do that again, okay? <laughs> Nobody wants to hear me do that. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this live stream, man. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I appreciate the love you guys show me. Even if, I, even when I'm not here from Monday through Saturday, you guys always show up, okay? So I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next Sunday. That's just what it is. Like, I'm just going live on Sunday, giving you guys all the sauce, all the information. And then we come back after the week and we're like, dang, like, bro was right. You know? Um, everything is linked in the bio. Some people are asking how much and good broker. I'll start using for Spot of 406. You know, I don't know. What stocks do you recommend for new beginners? Um, join the investing channel. Join the investing channel. But beginners, like, there's no such thing as what stocks do I recommend for new beginners. Like, there's no such thing. A good stock is a good stock. Rather you're a beginner, or rather you're an expert. You know, there's no there's no levels to what stocks you can buy based on if you started or if you're at. You know, a good stock is a good stock. Okay, I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and tell beginners to buy Tesla, and then tell experts to not buy Tesla. You know, Tesla's just a great buy in my opinion. I think it's just a good buy. I think it's a good buy. I really do. Um, I think there's better buys than Tesla. Don't go out there and just buy Tesla. Okay, Tesla is not the number one stock on my list. I was just using Tesla as a uh, as a um, as an example. But um, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm out. Peace. Man. All right, Twitch. Let me see what you guys are talking about, Twitch. We looked at IBM. We looked at UAL. We didn't look at EMPH. All right, y'all. Peace.